come, come, come up, hit it from the front, then hit it on the sides and knock it off the road. This vehicle was parked somewhere it shouldn't have been. After the explosives ordnance team reduced the threat, the engineer's squad vehicle, or ESV, moves in to clear the debris. With the engineer variant, you can have two different types of front end equipment. You can have the rollers and you can have the mine plow. The mine plow we use right now to push over like mounds of dirt and uh, blown up, burned out cars to the sides of the roads. The 73rd Engineer Company uses the ESV primarily on their sweep missions. They locate hazards and clear the roads, making them safe for coalition forces, convoys, and civilians. Uh, we came up on a situation where there was uh, two possible IEDs, uh, improvised explosive devices, um, one in a pile of rubble and one in a uh, metal canister of some kind. Inside tank mine, uncovered with the plow. Let's go, we got to load up. We used the uh, plow to knock them over, to push them out of the way to see if we could detonate them or if uh, there was even anything in the uh, these canister or the pile itself. Uh, we used it kind of like a, you wouldn't use a, do a bulldozer, but this is a little bit lighter and a little bit faster. One of the greatest benefits of this striker variant is less exposure to danger for the soldiers. Hey, uh, I'll tell you what it was later. The engineers are provided a closer, safer look at what the threat is before they decide how to dispose of it. Army Sergeant Lance Milstead, 366 MPAD, Mosul, Iraq.